Hi everyone, I'm Dr David Wackenfeld, the Chief Scientist at the Great Barrier Reef Marine Park Authority, and I'm here with the latest weekly reef health update. The headline this week is very much that the risk of coral bleaching on the Great Barrier Reef does still remain. Over the last week or so, our observations of bleaching that is already happening have been consistent with what we had been seeing. So we've had particularly aerial and vessel surveys out there and in large parts of the inner and middle parts of the reef in the far north, parts of the inner central Great Barrier Reef and parts of the inner southern Great Barrier Reef are the places where we have seen the most bleaching. The good news is that the more we conduct aerial surveys more broadly throughout the marine park, we are finding that there are still large areas of reef where there is minimal or no coral bleaching and that of course is good news at this stage of the summer. Over the last week we have seen exactly the kind of weather that we wanted. Good cloud cover, good rain, good wind and data from the Australian Institute of Marine Science indicate that everywhere where we have information, this is from in-water measurement of water temperature, there has been some quite substantial cooling of surface waters by as much as one and a half to two degrees. So that is great news. That's exactly what we wanted to see. At the same time, the cloud cover that we have had presents a challenge, and that is that while the clouds are there, the satellites cannot see the surface of the Great Barrier Reef, and so that really broad spatial coverage that the satellites give us has been compromised, both for current observations and for information to feed into the forecasts. The forecasts that we have, both from the Bureau of Meteorology and from NOAA, indicate that for the rest of February and into March, we will still see substantial heat stress on the Great Barrier Reef. But because the satellite's view of the reef has been compromised by cloud cover, those forecasts may be an overestimate, and we will have to watch that very carefully in the coming days. Now, at the moment, the cloud cover is clearing. Most of the Great Barrier Reef is clear now. The satellites are starting to get a better view of what is happening on the surface of the ocean in the Great Barrier Reef, and so we'll get better and clearer information from the satellites in coming days, and obviously we'll be analysing that very closely. So this is still a critical time for the Great Barrier Reef, and it is the local weather conditions over the next few weeks that will determine how much bleaching we see and where. More than ever, please help us out. Download for Android or Apple our Eye on the Reef app and contribute to that system to help us keep an eye on the Great Barrier Reef. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next week.